Hello, my name is Iran Hu. I'm from Guangzhou, China, and this is my presentation on my Eureka project. My research is mainly about the large language models, GPT-4 and CoTE5+. My research contains two parts. In the first part, I compare two models and test their abilities in task completion. In the second part, I focus on the GPT-4 model and I fed it with more complex tasks to see its performance with these comprehensive problems. Um, so why did I choose these topics? Well, I am an avid computer science student and I love competitive programming. I enjoy to figure out the human intelligence in designing the algorithms and breaking down the big problems into smaller ones. I have been self-learning competitive programming for a few years, for two years, and I have achieved on a certain level. I'm also interested in AI and natural language processing. And these two components kind of converge together, which the topic of this day emerged on that. Yeah. Before getting into the experiment, I still want to mention that I encounter a lot of challenges when I'm doing my research. In the first couple of weeks, I read through a lot of papers trying to understand the architecture of the models and trying to figure out how they work. So I learned that the architecture of GPT-4 and CoT5 Plus were both built on the transformer model. GPT-4 is highly versatile for a wide array of tasks because it utilizes different and multiple layers of transformer units, which kind of help him to manage a lot of tasks. Either it is code or natural language. On the other hand, CoTE5 Plus is fine-tuned expli explicitly for software development tasks while it shares the core mechanism or mechanics of the transformer architecture like GPT-4, its training and tuning are more geared towards understanding and generating code instead of handling a variety of different tasks. So after knowing how each model works, I was able to pick a bunch of different tasks varied from simple to hard and fed it to each model to see the response and compare them based on their functionality and efficiency. The algorithms or the task that I chose is different algorithms varied from simple to hard and I compared the code generated by the models and I summarized the results and compared them based on the metrics mentioned above. So for example, the first prompt is write a Python function that returns the index of the maximum value in an array. Both model com um, does the job pr pretty good. And even though there are a slightly different in their output code, the main idea is the same and they both complete the tasks pretty perfectly. And this is a simple task. And later on for this harder task, which is write a Python function of the diastress algorithm, which is a algorithm to find the shortest path between two weighted nodes. The code T5 only output a um, BFS solution, which only handles uh, the unweighted graph, while the GPT um, output a full solution for all unweighted or weighted graph, given all the data needed. So um, looking at the results of several other different prompts given, we can conclude that GPT-4 has outperformed code T5 plus in terms of the code efficiency. Um, so this is when I was trying to get the code outputted from the code T5 plus. It is a process of letting it to generate code. You can see the code is here and the code it generated is here and yeah. And this is the code generated by GPT-4, which is backhanded by ChatGPT. So I decided to step, in, step into the experiment too, because I want to explore further about the capability. Mm, yeah, in order to dive into it, I decided to feed it with more complex problems. While a lot of problems require very sophisticated algorithms and optimization, 
I will provide hints while it generates codes and to maybe point out the problems it has or to give some idea. In this way, I believe I can test the model's full potential when handling very challenging coding tasks. The problems I chose for the tasks um, vary with different difficulties. I picked the problems from a website named Usicle. The purpose of the website was to um, provide a platform for high school students to test their problem solving skills and the understanding of different algorithms. The problems it provided can be a great tool for assessing its ability because the problems are complex in their nature. The problems are labeled with brown, silver, and gold with increasing difficulty. I picked two or three problems from each level and fed them into the model. I fed each problem in a separate block of chat and asked it to generate a code in C++, which is the most prevalent language for competitive programming due to its efficiency. So this is the one of the Brown's problem I fed it with. John, Farmer John needs to fill a pail with exactly n units of milk, and he has two buckets, x, which contains x and y for its volume, and output the closest amount of milk that can be filled. Same for x, y. So this problem, GPT-4 recognizes its lenient of its data, data size, so he uses a brute force solution to solve all possibility of, of the amount of milk and compare which is the greatest which solves the problem completely in first try, which is very really impressive and is a Brown's problem. For them. So for the Brown's problem, the models are able to give, most likely to give the correct solution in one try. And this is a silver problem, which Farmer John owns a farm of N farms connected by M roads. And he's going to close each, close one barn at a time. And every time when he closes a barn, you want to output whether the full barn that has not been closed yet is connected or not. It's pretty complicated in nature. While after several hints, the GPT-4 was able to come up with the right solution, which passes all test cases, um, which is here. This code he uses a DSU, which is a data structure for checking if two nodes are connected, and he uses this component, this um, variable called components, to keep track of the number of connected components, and it goes in the reverse order, so that it's opening up each barn every time instead of closing it, which makes the calculation much easier. This is a very smart approach which I was very impressed and it solves the problem fully. So for the silver problems, the models generally will have the right idea of solving the problem, but often with errors in either understanding of the problem or some errors in their code, which needed to be pointed out. And lastly, this is a gold problem. It is a problem that involves so finding the maximum strength of the friendship groups, the problem strengths involve the number of cows n and the number of friendships n. And it asks for the maximum strength of any friendship group defined by the problem, which the friendship group is calculated by a certain group of connected cows n times the smallest out degree of one cow within the each s. For this problem, this is a very challenging problem, and I did not expect GPT to come up with the right solution in a few, even with a few hints. After a series of effort, it was able to solve six out of the 20 subtasks with this code. So it has an unordered map to store the group, and it has a unordered map of multi-set to keep track of the out degree of every um, node within the graph. While this solution is already pretty complex, it was only able to solve six 
So looking at the results, we can see that the model has the ability to understand the comprehensive problems and are able to devise a solution. However, in order to make sure the texts are understood and the code contains no errors, it is necessary to carefully monitor the process of, of generating code and notice the potential problems in the code. And yeah, that was my presentation. Thank you.